Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time taking a look along Romania's Black Sea coast. This is the seaside resort of Marmia. It's close to the more well-known one of Constanta. And this is where the Romanians come on their holiday. I think it's fair to say that the bulk of tourists in a place like this are Romanians. They are domestic tourists. I met a few people here from Bucharest. And it's, it's a very, very pleasant place. Very family orientated as well. It's not the, you know, you know Ibiza style, no holds barred uh, sort of youthful scene. There is a little bit of that here. But it is uh, a place like this is mainly for families. So in this video, I'll basically run through what a Romanian Black Sea seaside resort looks like. You've got cable cars there. It, I'll, I'll also include in this video uh, the, the review of the hotel, if you can call it that, uh, the hotel that I'm staying in. And it's very, very close to the action. Here. One thing about the hotel, it's close to the beach and it's close to restaurants and uh, shops and all that kind of stuff. So it's very, very centrally located. I'll be running through that later in the video, as well as taking a, a quick glimpse down at the beach. And also... Um, uh, doing a couple of uh, restaurant reviews. So by the end of the video, you will have more of an idea of what the Black Sea looks like. It's quite a pleasant place, but like I said before, it's very, very family orientated. this one. And also, it, it seems, it feels and seems very, very different than what you would expect from other places like Greece or Spain. I mean, don't forget, I mean, you know, where, when Spain and Greece were rocking and rolling uh, with, with British tourists and, uh, you know, other tourists from Europe, uh, places like Romania were still very, very much, you know, under communist rule. They were under, uh, you, you know, rule, rule of, they were behind the Iron Curtain, you could say. And you, you still got that feeling of it, really. I mean, with all these, like, kind of Soviet-style blocks, some of these buildings, it lacks the charm of places like Greece and uh, uh, Spain, because they, they, you know, they have uh, obviously more established tourist destinations. The Black Sea was probably well known for uh, Russians vacationing here uh, during the old Cold War. Well, this is peak summer. That, that, that water looks pretty cold, doesn't it? But it's pleasant enough, you know, it's, it's, it's a pleasant enough place. One good thing about Marmia is that there's no shortage of uh, very, very pleasant little beach bars to stop off at. If you actually want a beer at the beach, there's plenty of that going on. And there's a few night scenes, that's a nice little touristy kind of uh, form of transport. So it's a very, very pleasant and very safe environment. Uh, like, like I said earlier, it's it's very much for, uh, for you know, very family orientated. So if you're a single guy looking for a bit of action, it's not really the ideal place for that.
So as you can see, there's no shortage of restaurants around there, and a lot of them look very, very pleasant. Um, it's in terms of the cost. Marmia is not the cheapest place you're going to visit in Romania. In fact, it's probably one of the more expensive ones. But, you know, you get what you pay for. You get a nice ambience. A lot of these restaurants here look very, very nice. And if you want budget stuff, you've got kebab places or, or Yeros or Giros or whatever you want to call it. Well, they certainly get the people in. You know, there are no, no shortage of customers in these places, so... And remember, many of these are, are really Romanian people. They probably come from places like Bucharest. You know, come down to the Black Sea for the holiday. You do not meet many British people here. I didn't meet any British people at all here, really. And as for these little scooters here, well, they're parked there. They, you know, they have an app. You can download the app and off you go really but be careful of that cycle track in the center be very careful because you know you can really be uh, complacent wandering around without a care in the world and something, something may something on wheels may well come up behind you yeah very very pleasant place nice 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 dining here i've tried a couple of these restaurants and they are um yeah, these particular ones here, but you know, are not really that cheap. But you know, you get a good quality of food in a lot of them. I know that much. And as for here, well, this is one of those night beach uh, uh, venues with banging, uh, you know, disco music or rave music or, or whatever they call it in this day and age. So anyway, down at the beach again, this is another part. The water looks very, very inviting here. And like I said, if you want to stop off at a nice beach bar, there's some really, really nice ones. You know, just you know, sit, sit at a beach bar, have a nice cold beer. Very, very pleasant stuff. Without battle in Yeah, whatever. Whatever. In Pata, Stringa. Okay, so this this restaurant here became a favourite of mine during my stay. It's very close to the hotel where I'm staying. Uh, you get a lovely bottle of white wine uh, at a reasonable price. Uh, the food is lovely. And the waitress here, well, I mean this in a nice way, but her voice kept reminding me of one of my favourite 70s horror movies. Nice woman. Her voice reminds me of Mercedes McCambridge. If you're not familiar with that name, let me just say, the power of Christ compels you! Dude, just look at that there. Oh, that's... What is that exactly? It's chicken. Chicken, paper, paper. Yeah, okay. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, I like it already. Does not look magnificent. What's down with a nice bottle of uh, white wine? Yes. And what else can I say? I've got a sneaky, sneaky feeling that I'm going to enjoy this. That was so damn good. I, uh, I think that calls for a dessert, doesn't it? Okay. Hello, my little chickadee. How are you? Let's just say something, my camera. That was a lovely meal. A beautiful meal, a lovely dessert. 
lovely dessert, lovely chicken with fries and, and the wine and everything, okay? So, so how would you sum up Romania? Go on. What would you say about Romania? Have you, have you, have you ever heard of Mercedes McCambridge? It's very nice, Romania. Romania is a very, very nice place. And you're a very, very nice lady, okay? You've got a lovely voice, okay? Thank you. Okay, fine, thank you. That I was, don't believe you. That, you don't believe me? No. I've got this kind of look about, you know, you're, you're a, you know, the way that I look and the way that I dress, okay? Okay, bring me the bill, please. That oh, was okay. magnificent. One minute. Okay. No. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, okay. The power of Christ compels you. So it's 109 lei, yes. That's a crispy 100. And I'll give it, give it a tip because he's absolutely magnificent. And that's a, a total cost. A total cost, including a tip of 130 no, lei. What's that? Yes, yes. There you go. There you go, okay. 109 lei, yes. And I'll give it 130 because that was absolutely magnificent, okay? Everything, she's wonderful. She's a wonderful lady anyway, okay? Bye bye. Get my love, love is, I'll, I'll, co I'll come here again. Okay. I will come okay. here again. I wait. Because the wine, the, the chicken, the fries, the dessert, everything was absolutely magnificent, okay? It, 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 was, it, was worthy of, it, it was worthy of Count Dracula that it was. Okay, even Count Dracula would have eaten that, okay? God bless you. Have a lovely day, okay? Thank you. I'll see you again. You. Cheers. Okay, so I'm going to show you the inside of this hotel room here. And if you can call it a hotel room, you can call it a hostel or something. I've got my own room here. It's got two beds, two single beds. Yes. And, um... Well, that's about it, basically. It's got a bedside cabinet. It's got one, and only one, uh, PowerPoint there. Not the most convenient of place, places, but it ain't bad. So, you don't get a lot for your money in Romania with regards to hotels. Good value country, but not really the hotels. So, I'm showing you the inside of this room to begin with. There's no air con. You have got a fan. But like I say, there's only one bloody PowerPoint here, and it's over there, yes? So where am I going to plug that fan into? Oh, I don't know. I think I'll just stay sweaty. It doesn't have a fridge, so I have to get some cold beers from the convenience store before I come back here at night time. It's got uh, ample cupboards and all that kind of stuff. There's no safety deposit box. Is there anything else that I can say that it doesn't do? Oh yeah, it doesn't supply water, you have to buy your own. It's got a mirror, anyway. There, there, there's, a, there's a mirror, okay. So this is the hotel room, basically. And basic is the word, yes? But, look at this here. Come on. How about this to wake up to in the morning? Just look at that. Isn't that magnificent? That... Is the Black Sea out there, yes? And you have a lovely big beach. Beautiful big beach here, yes? Wonderful stuff. Okay. I'm just going to lock my door before I go anywhere. Show you the rest. Right. Now, another thing about this place. I have in the past stayed in budget hotel rooms or hostels where you don't have, have your own separate ensuite shower and toilet and all that but I've never ever ever had to walk this far ever Jesus just look at that that is one hell of a trek to take a pee well at least the beach is nice anyway it's a massive massive beach massive massive beach now at the end there, that strange building, that is the old casino. It's disused now, but that was the casino that was... Um, there, there is actually a big painting of it in the hallway of the reception there. And the um, it was used in the 1930s. I think for a brief while, it was, yeah, it was actually used before the war, so it goes back a long way, that does. Really, really, really long way. Okay. 
And here's another thing which I should mention. This is about 1 p.m. in the afternoon right now. There's a nightclub down that way, a beach nightclub, and you know, all you can do, day and night you can hear thud, 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 you know, that music. I'm kind of wondering, is, is, is thud, 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 I mean, would that be copyrighted? Is it, is it music? It just goes thud, thud, thud all night long, and you can hear it. Uh, I have to have my window closed at night time, so, you know, because you can't hear it. Okay, so with regards to hotels, you don't get much for your money in Romania. Romania is a good value country, don't get me wrong. Food and drink, if you're eating in the right places, can be pretty good. But with regards to hotels, this little gaff here, <laughs> rough and ready gaff, is costing me £35 a night. English money, 35 quid a night. It's about 200 and something lei. Just over 200 lei per night, which for what you get is very, very expensive, really. But come on, at least I'm waking up every day to this. Come on, that ain't too bad, is it? It's part of the fun, you know. It's part of the fun. At least I walk out of my door and I'm here. And also, over night time, you can sit there. I, I, did I mention the Wi-Fi? I haven't actually used the Wi-Fi, I've heard it's not very good, I can't really see, see it being very good, but at least I get a good signal with my data package anyway, the internet's very good, uh, you know, I'm, I'm using Vodafone here, and at least that's good, but like I say, the hotels, you don't get much for your money, but at least you get this, so it can't be all bad. As for waking up in the middle of the night for a pay, if you really, really, really can't get all that way, there is another alternative. Hello, how are you? Good. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Can I film you putting put that burger in there? Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love it. Oh, that's, that is the best bear. Do you know something? There's lots of beach bars down there, but I walk past them all. I wanted to come to this one, because this is the best beach bar. Thank you. And you are the, you're the nicest barmaid. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Okay, beautiful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse at a Black Sea seaside resort. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. The power of Christ <laughs> compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you.